most grateful and appreciative of all of you that have joined us here today uh, with the intention of expanding consciousness because that's really what you want to do. There's no one that we're meeting or that is being drawn to us uh, uh, with that doesn't have a likeness to us or a desire to become an activator themselves. It is why you want to activate your kundalini energy. Uh, it is because you want to be in service of humanity. Uh, there are those, believe it or not, that activate that energy and who are not in service to humanity. Uh, and that would be proof again that the universe works for you. It doesn't work just for us. Uh, whatever a human is focused on and the desire that they have to achieve something, they have the ability to do it. There have been those in your society that have actually activated that energy uh, and used it for no good. Uh, they were able to form cults and get many followers through the law of attraction or a magnetism that is created by that energy. Uh, and therefore, you are probably aware of some of those scenarios or situations. We, however, are emanating a very high vibration of energy and those that are attracted to us are same. Uh, so we know that the ones here uh, that are actually looking to activate that energy are going to use it for means of uh, heightening uh, consciousness and actually have a desire to serve humanity. We want you to know what you are really, uh, because sometimes we think you forget. Yeah, uh, Robin is uh, having the smile on her face and it is because of your openness. If you closed your field, if you did not believe or you could not perceive that this was even possible, you are the one that opens and closes those energy centers. And that's how the universe is actually connected to you. It is feeling you in every one of those energy centers. And then it is relating back to you uh, by expressions or mirrors that are coming to you in all different areas of your life. Uh, as we go through this process today, we will be depicting what each center basically stands for uh, and what in your life is affected by those things. Uh, and that way uh, you can get a little better understanding if you have some energy or emotion that is caught there that is bringing a mirror or an expression into your life that you don't like looking into. Yeah, then you will have an opportunity to learn how to love yourself in that feeling that you have chosen to feel and release it from your field and therefore start to get new mirrors or a better reflection. Let's use that term in your life. That's what we're looking for. Uh, once we remove a lot of the energetic entrapments that are actually slowing the field down, we want you to think of those energy centers as wheels that are spinning and turning. And as they are pumping and spinning and turning, they're actually drawing in divinity energy or light source energy into the being. It's what you refer to as enlightenment. Enlightenment doesn't mean you have it all figured out that you're a perfect human and that you no longer act human. That's not what it is. It means that you have figured out that you have this uh, energetic field and you are now becoming masters of it. You're starting to realize that I can focus on my energy centers. I can open them. I can spin them. I can clear out things that are lodged in them and therefore make room or space for the divine energy to enter you that's been knocking at your door the whole time. It's never been condemning. It's never been judging. It's never been not wanting to enter you. It would be because your field has slowed down and in some cases actually closed. If a, a human is suffering some type of an illness, uh, it is usually a very advanced or layered a number of emotions that have layer, layered up in that uh, chakra that have actually closed it off or slowed it down so that it is not receiving much or any energy at all. When that happens, that same emotion will transfer down into the uh, center below it and then it will do the same thing, transfer again to the center below it. Uh, and why is this happening? Because the universe is trying all different areas of your life to notify you you're hanging on to something that's denying energy or flow to yourself, you see. So it will go to other areas of your life making you feel the same way uh, in hopes that maybe this place in relationships, perhaps, if I move into the heart center and relationships are suffering in the way that I am in them, maybe I will start to notice that I've got some part in this or there's something that I could do to relieve this energy from myself and therefore get the good relationships that I want to. If I ignored that for a very long time, I would have one relationship after another that would come to me that would be problematic. And pretty soon the energy center would slow down and start to lag a little bit and then it would move down. It would try to tr go into the gut, that same energy that's slowing down the heart would move into the solar plexus. And now I would find out that I'm trying to control people or they're trying to control me or something would occur in the area of control in my life that would make me feel the same way. So you get the idea or the understanding that this uh, energy that one holds within themselves has the ability to spread throughout the system and therefore deny energy to the whole being eventually. Uh, and then the, the result of that, of course, would be death if they had no energy at all. Yeah. Uh, so it really, uh, the system really does everything that it can to try to keep functioning, to try to keep working. And it's one of the reasons that it does this transfer where it starts to offload energy into the center below because it doesn't want to stop completely. When an energy stops spinning completely and it stops bringing in that fresh divine energy into it, the area becomes stagnant and it is open to or susceptible to, yes, you lose that term, uh, some type of a disease or a disease uh, in the human body. Yeah. So we're going to get started today. What's going to happen is by you being open and why being open, it's mean, I expect, I believe, I understand that I have the possibility to 
receive myself. Why was Robin smiling when she started uh, the session today? Uh, we were smiling her face because we got to feel the energetic field of each one of you that joined the meeting in your agreement, in your opening. You could close that field. You could decide that this isn't for you. You don't believe in it. It isn't possible. You're not worthy enough. Uh, this would have to be hocus pocus, whatever you want to think. And you would inadvertently close off those energy centers and you would deny us access to you. And therefore, the stimulation that we're wanting to get from you about what the human is actually holding would be withheld and we would not be able to serve you in the way that we want to. So keep yourself open. Understand that the divine part of you is sliding up a chair right now next to us. You are the same as us. There is an aspect of you that is uh, living in or residing in the divinity part of you resides with us. Yeah, you are a projection of consciousness. You are not the human that you think you are. You are a tool that the human is projecting, uh, getting a projection from its divine counterpart that is using that tool, the human, to experience itself here. Yeah, and you are feeling everything and the universe is receiving everything from you through those energy centers that we're talking about, just so you have a basic understanding. So as we start now, we're going to start at the crown and then we're going to move through each one of the energy centers. What happens is the divinity part of you has a very high vibration. It spins at a rapid rate. And so with your agreement, you're going to start receiving some of that energy. When that high voltage energy hits your energy centers, it's going to expel what's in there. It's going to say to you, ah, oh, this happened to you, that happened to you. You had this experience, that experience. It's actually going to hand us what you are holding. It's going to come to you in the uh, form of a thought or a memory. Uh, that's going to be actually what's held in the cell or the energy center. And so then as we get that information, we're going to get to know you and why you chose to feel that way. We're going to teach you how to love yourself and everything that you feel and therefore become a match to the divine source. And then the flow will come in and push those energies out of the way. And you will start to rise in consciousness or in the vibration that you are and become a match to your source. You become a match to your source, not by being perfect, not by doing everything right, not by not having a glass of wine, uh, not by judging, not by condemning. You become aligned to your source by loving yourself. And what is love of self? Love is surrendering to the free will choice that you have in the way that you feel. Did we say that there's bad ways to feel, wrong ways to feel, ways that you should reconsider your feeling? We did not. We said that you have a vast array of emotions on a platter to choose from, and the universe says who better to do it than you. You pick how you feel. We don't care what it feels like. We're not judging. We're not condemning. We're unconditionally loving you. Yeah. And as you choose an emotion, you release that emotion to the divinity part of you, and it lifts or transmutes that energy to the highest possible vibration, and it creates circumstances and situations that it would deliver to you right through those energy centers in flow without you efforting, without you changing, without you working at it, it would come to you automatically. But what happens to a human is they start to dislike themselves and the emotions. They start to become the human. I don't like being jealous. I don't like being enraged. I don't like the idea that I'm this or that. And as they hold that lower tone that they chose to send as a signal, they get a flashback or a mirror over and over and over and over again of the same situation that they are not wanting to feel anymore. So you have